The indelicate grasp of the Roman Empire. The indelicate grasp of the Roman Empire grows stronger and reaches farther with each passing day. Even the deadly political power struggles of Rome have reached our land. With the recent assassination of Pompey on the shores of Egypt, Julius Caesar now has complete control of Rome's mighty legions and has cast his eyes upon the riches of Egypt and upon the beauty of our beguiling Pharaoh, Cleopatra VII, daughter of Ptolemy XII, Aulites. Our clever leader is not easily outdone on the battlefield of wits, however. If Caesar desires to use her as a means to further Rome's influence in Egypt, so too does she plan to employ him as an instrument of maintaining the dynastic power of our great land. Caesar's arrival in Alexandria with his unpopular Romans has sparked an uprising among its independent-minded citizens. An unruly mob, egged on by Cleopatra's younger brother, Ptolemy XIII, has cornered Caesar and his men in the royal quarter of the city. Bitter street fighting has erupted, claiming many casualties. In a bid to keep his seaward escape route open, Caesar burned the Egyptian fleet as it lay at anchor in Alexandria's harbor. Unfortunately, the conflagration spread to some shoreline warehouses, burning great quantities of papyrus scrolls belonging to the Great Library. To break the trap in which he now finds himself, Caesar has summoned the loyal Mithridates and his troops from Syria to effect his rescue. After successfully storming the border fortress of Michdom, Mithridates has force-marched his men around the apex of the Nile Delta, so to approach Alexandria from the southeast. The lead elements of his force are currently encamped on the outskirts of the small village of Maritis, on the eastern shore of Lake Mariut, preparing for the final leg of their journey. The baleful Ptolemy XIII has learned of the approach of these reinforcements. In response, he has marched the bulk of his more numerous army southeastward out of Alexandria. A decisive battle on the eastern shore of Lake Mariut is about to ensue. Can you, commanding Mithridates' Roman legions, defeat Ptolemy's rebellious Egyptian army and break through to Caesar and Cleopatra in Alexandria? Their fate rests in your hands.
delicate grasp of the Roman Empire grows stronger and reaches farther. Your mighty legions have crushed Ptolemy the Thirteenth's rabble. His drowned body was dredged from the Nile as proof of his death. The siege has been lifted, and Cleopatra is now secure on her throne. To celebrate the victory and further cement their relationship, Caesar and Cleopatra are now embarked on a journey up the Nile aboard the luxurious royal barge. <laughs> 